So I just made a discovery and I want to share it with you. It's both fortunate and unfortunate what I discovered and it's regarding inflammation. So I was just getting ready to go to the Niagara County Fair the last day of the year. I think today's the 7th. It's Sunday. Ooh, it's hot in here and I got the air conditioners on two of them. Um, August 7th, 2022. And so I got these cute little shorts. I thought they were adorable and they're stretchy. They're super comfortable, but they are a little snug. I could have used one size up more just to be a little bit more comfortable. But at this point, I don't think it matters because here's my discovery. Um, I've been fine for the past probably a couple months with my inflammation in my knees, which I could show you. You're not going to see it much now. Actually, you won't see inflammation on my knees that much right now because it's just getting started. <laughs> ha, you can see the brand new tag. I just bought these the other day. Anyways, I forgot to take that off. Hey, thanks for catching that. If I didn't do this video, I would have went to the Erie County Fair <laughs> with a tag on my ass and forgot about it. Anyways, um, the reason for this discovery being posted is because I've been wearing, these are the kind of shorts I've been wearing for the past few months. Super light, flowy, comfortable, with no, I shouldn't say, almost no issues with my inflammation in my knees. So here's the other pair. I've been wearing these, super flowy, super light, nothing, you know, tight and restrictive. Here's another pair. I have a few of them. Oops, those ones I haven't worn yet. <laughs> Still have the tag on it. See, see how light, light and flowy these are? The material is super light. This is heavy and, and, and restrictive. That's why I'm having inflammation today. And I noticed that because just getting ready, I'm like, why am I having a hard time walking? Unbelievable. I could feel the inflammation in my knee. I know it's not as bad as it used to be, but it's, I'm, listen, I just put the shorts on like 10 minutes ago. Here's another pair of adorable looking shorts I can't wait to wear. Uh, still got the tag on it though, so obviously I haven't worn them yet. But look at they're light and breezy and um, look at it, lightweight. That's why my knees haven't been bothering me. So my concern is winter time. When winter time hits, I am concerned that because I mostly wear jeans in the winter time, which this is what this is. They're just stretchy. And that's why mostly in the wintertime, I think I have these problems with my inflammation. Other than the Fuji, stay away from rancid oils. Vegetable oil is not an oil. Think about it. Vegetables don't produce oil. Where does vegetable oil come from? Think about that. And it's in like literally every boxed food or processed food or canned stuff that you get. So look at that. Stay away from vegetable oil and canola oil. I am definitely an advocate to speaking out against rancid oils. Because they stay in your system for 600, 600 days and you can't get rid of them. And the other thing is, I just ate these uh, ridiculous, greasy, um, well actually, no, I threw those out. Those were the onion rings. I threw most of those out because I knew I couldn't eat them. But the next time I went to Louie's, um, the original Texas Hots, I ordered the Curly Q fries. I got a stack like this big. None of them were Curly Q's. It was like the end of the line, and it was because I confirmed it later. They were like these all broken up pieces of like half pieces of like shoestring. And I'm like, what the hell is this? I don't want to tell you how they came out a couple days later, but let's just say they were in a whole form. My body could not digest them. It was awful, unbelievable. Stay away from that junk, okay? It'll jack you up. Anyways, back to the shorts of my new discovery today. Um... I'm getting inflammation today. I'll see if I could show you this here. I don't know. Let me get a, a little stool going on here. So here's here's the side of my knee right here. And it, it doesn't look too bad, but I could feel it. Let me tell you something. I could feel it. So here's, uh, I don't know if you could see in the video, the back of my leg, the difference between the two legs. I don't really see a big difference yet, but I could feel it. Here's the side of my one knee, which is okay. This, this knee is okay. It's this knee, the back of it, I don't know if you can see a difference, but I'm telling you what, yeah, that's hilarious, I better take that tag off before, <laughs> I 
get to take it off. I love the shorts. They're adorable. I wanted to wear them to the Erie County Fair, but within minutes, I start getting inflammation in my knee. So, this is for you. This is for me. As a reminder, sometimes I actually have to go back and watch my old videos because I'm like, holy crap, that's why I have inflammation? Yeah, that's why you have inflammation, Joanne. There's so many reasons why. Tight-fitting clothes will... It constricts you. Think about it. It constricts you. So... All right, that's my discovery for today. Uh, apparently, I can't be wearing these cute little jeans anymore. These are adorable. Love them. I guess those are out. So, try to wear loose-fitting clothes. Um, not only are they adorable, but they're more comfortable. I do love these. I don't want to give them up, though. I don't want to take them back. I think they're so cute. Look how cute they are. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I might suffer through the day. It might get really bad, though. Although I'm not going to... I decided against going to the Niagara County Fair today because it is so muggy out. Like, you can barely breathe. It's 86 degrees out. Feels like 93. Um, I checked the weather, and, uh, you know, that's not the greatest of conditions to put yourself in either. So, thanks for watching uh, my discoveries on what causes inflammation in my body, in my knees. And my, like, my knees and my arms aren't, aren't too bad. It's really... It's my leg right here today. So, and I'm telling you, it's because of this, even though it's stretchy, it's still, look, it's still, it doesn't fit in a flowing manner like these. So get yourself some fleece flowing shorts and wintertime, I'm going to have to change my whole, my whole setup in the winter, I guess. And I like wearing jeans because I'm a do-it-yourself or fixer-upper, always into something, the hands always getting dirty. I like to wear jeans. Um... Whatever. That's my input today. That's my information today. That's my newly discovered information today. And I hope you learn from it. I hope you get something from it. Think about it before you go putting on a uh, really cute pair of jeans because it doesn't help me at all. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of my discoveries, my self-discoveries, my health discoveries, my... Um, inspirations and reviews of products and reviews subscribe if you would like and you'll be able to see more my videos will op automatically pop up uh for you to see if you subscribe so thanks so much for watching i hope this helps and be healthy tight jeans aren't worth it maybe for the day <laughs> we'll see thank you for watching <laughs>